Okay, so as I promised you, let's spend some words about the exam. Okay, so you know how to plan it. And uh, um, let me check if the mic is working, yes. So how, how it's working for every, for every call, okay? So we have, uh, uh, you know that uh, the exam is an individual project to be submitted and discuss. Submitted before the deadline. And discussed in the following days. Okay, so it, it, the project is the same for everybody, but it should be done individually. Okay, so each of you should uh, submit uh, their own project. Of course, it's uh, inevitable that you will uh, maybe work together or help each other, but at the end, uh, you are going to submit uh, your own project and you are responsible for what you submit and uh, for knowing uh, and knowing well what you are submitting. Okay? So basically, we have the, the exam call date. Um, the, the first one is, uh, if I remember well, is the 20 or whatever of uh, June, 20 of June. What is that? Uh, 20, sorry? 28. Okay. Um, so, let's, um, for example, for this first call, you're saying is the 28th of June. It means that the project submission uh, would be before that the, the day, so 26, 27 at midnight. Okay? Uh, the exam should, uh, will be published, so the text of the exam, of the exam, of the project, will be published, published, at least 20, day, 20 days before. So this means, for the first call, means before the 8th of June. So we have, you will have 20 full days to develop your project according to the specification. You can do that in the first three days, or in the last three days, or mid one, as you, as you wish, okay? Um, there's a procedure for uh, the publication of the text, because uh, maybe we write a text, uh, it could be a bit ambiguous, uh, or you may need some clarification. So the text is initially published in, in, uh, in draft form. Uh, in a Google Doc. So you may comment on the, uh, uh, on the document with the questions or clarifications or whatever. And uh, we will pro uh, provide a reply to your comments. So don't modify the text, you can only comment. And uh, uh, we will publish a final version uh, we will be published uh, uh, some days after, so normally five or six days after. So we have some days, we still have the, say, the, the text is already published, so you already start, can start working. If there are some issues, some details that need to be fixed, we have some days of discussion over Google Docs uh, to, to, to fix that, okay? So the text we will uh, keep into account, is the, the text will be the same for the English and for the Italian course. So we are synchronizing also your comments and so on, and we'll release a, a final version after a few days. And then we'll be uh, fixed in PDF and it will not change anymore. Okay, so the initial phase, try to, <clears throat> to be present uh, when we publish uh, uh, the text uh, so that you can react and you can read uh, and help ourselves and help everybody you know, to have a, a clear review of what, is, of what is required, okay? You can have a look uh, on the website. There are also the text of all the previous exams, so you can already have a look, uh, and maybe you can try yourself uh, you know, uh, what, what is being asked uh, for, the, um, for, uh, for the type of project. Uh, do you have a question? Yeah. 
bookings, né? Two? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm coming to that. Right now, I'm still for the project. Okay? So, um, so the, the text will be published, and when we close the text, we, are, we will publish also a skeleton of the project, the JavaScript project, will be published on GitHub Classroom. Uh, what is GitHub? I don't know if you already use GitHub Classroom in other courses. It's a, a simple service by GitHub where I will upload the list of students. And uh, the first time you need to log in on this, I will provide you a link for an exam. So it will be a specific link. Link for the exam will be given. When you receive this link for the exam, you go to this link, you log in with your own GitHub account, and you <clears throat> find yourself in the list of students. So actually, it will create a match between your student name and ID, the matricular number, and the uh, GitHub account. And also, so this can, uh, should only be done once. The first time you access this link, it will ask you to identify yourself. You select from the list. If there's somebody missing because they're coming in to now, put a, let's fix it. Just let me know and we will fix it. And uh, so it will, the link will give you a, a mapping between student name and, and the GitHub account. Plus, it will fork you a private copy of the, of the template project. Oh, the project will be very, very simple. It will be just a, a folder with the server, an empty server with expert.js, another folder with the client, uh, an empty uh, React application. But so it's, uh, it's uh, uh, the same for everybody. And uh, um, GitHub Classroom will create a fork of that uh, that will be accessible, that will be private, and accessible only to you uh, and the teachers. So they can work, uh, you, you should work on that GitHub project. That will be your submission, that GitHub project. You may create branches, you may have uh, many commits, uh, whatever you want. It's your project, okay? Before the deadline, push a version push a final version, uh, and add a final tag, GitHub tag. So with a tag command, there will be the instruction. You see the text, uh, you have all the detailed instruction on how to do that. Uh, you may have the many versions, many commits. One of them will be marked as final by you. That is, so what we'll do is that on the day of the deadline, we go download all the projects and check out the final tag for every project. And that is the project that we are going to check and see together. Okay? Uh, you, can, you can try, you can check, you can uh, just to be sure that uh, um, you are going to, uh, to do it correctly. Okay? You can just... I, I try to make it as, as detailed as possible, but don't wait for the last minute. Oh, I don't know how to push, or some people that uh, have some panic attack at the latest, at the latest, latest day, okay? Uh, always work on, on that repository, don't try to work on another one, and then transfer, transfer at the end. We are not going to look into that repositories ever before the deadline, don't, so don't care. Don't be afraid of what you do, okay? Not a problem. Um, so that's for the project submission. First phase, GitHub Classroom as, as soon as possible, then work on the project, then submission before the deadline. Right? Um, in parallel, of course, uh, enroll to the exam. On the app or portal. Of course, you, 
It's not a, a guitar cluster is not a substitute. You should always have the enrollment to the exam. But you already did it, so I saw the numbers. Okay? And this is all before the deadline. On the deadline, what I will do is to check the list of enrolled students and cross that with the list of projects that have been submitted with the final tag, and that will become the list of people who you know, are in, the, in this exam call. So you must both be enrolled and have submitted and have put the final tag, okay, before the deadline. This is all before. After the deadline, we have discussions. So uh, for the discussions, I will publish, uh, uh, there will be several slots to select, let's say 20 to 30 minutes. to select on a Google Calendar. So some days before, but not many days before, because I know I need you to be sure that you're going to submit, okay? So a few days before the deadline, I will publish these slots in Google Calendar. You just go on the link that they will provide you, and you see many slots, you click on one of them, and you log in with your own Google account, and you are, um, uh, enrolled for the for the discussion you choose so we don't make anything first come first serve of course but there will be several days uh, uh, and in particular I, I think if I remember correctly on the 28th I will not be here so we will begin at the, in the Monday of the next week but it will be spread over several days because you are many people and we cannot uh, our brain cannot take more than uh, 50 or 60 people a day, because otherwise you are going to, uh, to get crazy, okay? So you, you will select the slots that best fit your other exams or your other uh, constraints, okay? Uh, I will probably, probably provide more slots that are really needed so that you can have some freedom of choice. Okay? Usually what I see is that the first slots are the ones that are, go that are going first, but some people prefer doing uh, it later and so on, okay? The discussion will be in presence. Don't ask, okay, for remote discussions. We cannot uh, give it to you because uh, we are required to do exam in presence in any case. And how does it go is that we sit together uh, here and we open, on my computer, we open your project and try to run it. Okay, so the discussion will be running, uh, running the project. I already downloaded it before, so just open it and run the project. Testing the functionalities. And checking the code. We are not be checking every line of every component, of course, we don't have time for doing that. But at least uh, we are, have a look at if everything was implemented from the functional point of view and how it was implemented. So look at the call, if it's clean, if you are using correct states, the effects, the APIs, and so on, client and server, of course. We are opening that and we are discussing about that. So I will maybe ask questions, what is the component doing or uh, how do you handle this case uh, or something like that, okay? I will ask questions about your code and not asking questions about the theory of, uh, of JavaScript or anything else. About your code, you should show me that you are perfectly proficient about your own project. So if you did it, it's just a formality. If you did it yourself, it's many a check. So, and then the final score will be a combination of the functionality, so if the website is correct, if it's well written, so if you follow the, the, the right patterns in, in implementing that, you didn't create you know, race conditions or, or, or strange cases, and the, the, your ability to respond to the questions. Okay. You, you can imagine that it's not accessible if I ask you, okay, show me the component when you are, I don't know, uh, deleting the, the, this, this object, uh, you cannot take 10 minutes to find it, okay? It should be something like, uh, you know, you, you just work on it until the day before, okay? 
So it's very easy for me to understand if you really work on the project or not. And as I said, if you work with somebody else, uh, you can do that, but you should have the same knowledge uh, of all the projects, okay? Not only on some part. So that's, uh, that's the main uh, uh, goal of the, of the, of the discussion. Uh, keep in mind that uh, during the discussion will be the first time in which I see your project. Okay, because in the first year we did two steps. First, we graduated, we, we graduated the project, so we downloaded them, we ran them, we checked all the errors, and then we did the discussions. But it was a problem because we took uh, more than one week uh, or 10 days just to graduate all the, or grade, sorry, graduate, grade all the projects. And so you were waiting, you were pushing, you were anxious for the second call, and we were uh, crazy in trying to, to grade all the projects. So wh what we decided is, okay, let's see them together. Let's start the discussion immediately, right after. Of course, it will take more time. You know, the, the old discussion will be more 30 minutes than 10 or 15, because we still have to have a look of the project and so on. But we saw with experience with the past years that it's better for you to uh, not to have this week or 10 days of delay between the submission and the discussion because you forget uh, what you did before and then you must prepare for the next call if the, uh, the first one didn't go well, okay? So that's the, uh, more or less the procedure. This happens for each and every call. There will be a problem in which the second call is 15 days after the first one, but we will publish the text 20 days before. So there will be a day around the 23, or 23rd, or 22nd of June, when you are still working on this first call and we will publish the second call. And uh, you will have to decide, <laughs> basically, you know, if uh, you want to continue on submitting the first call, or maybe you're late, maybe you don't like the project, uh, don't care, you decide uh, to go to the second one, to start working on the second one, okay? Um, it's, a, it's your choice, we don't need to know. I will only check the list uh, of submissions on the day of the deadline, so if you start working on it and then you, you drop it, I don't care, really, there's no problem. Uh, of course, you need to cancel the enrolling in the first call and uh, enroll to the second, but that's uh, just a detail. Uh, the problem, what is the problem? The problem is that if you're working on the first call and then at the last minute you, you can't finish it, then you will have, uh, and so you cannot submit it, uh, then you will have less days for the second call because uh, because the calls are just 15 days apart. But I don't know what to do with that, so I, I, I don't find any solution. So there's an overlap between the work, the time frame for working on the first call and the time frame for working on the second call. Mm. I don't have a time machine, so I, and I didn't want to make it shorter than 20 days. Okay, so there were these days in which you have a look at the second call and say, okay, I like it better, the second one, or I'm just ready to finish the first one, but uh, it's some level of, of anxiety that I'm putting onto you, but uh, at least uh, you, we know it before, okay? And again, in September, it will be the same, uh, the same rule. Always there are this, all, everything is run by the call date and the 20 days. Everything is scheduled in the same time, in the same way every time. Okay? Um, I, uh, then we wrote something about how many points are for the project functionality, how many points are, but I don't want to discuss them with you because uh, my, my idea is that it's your job to, go, to do a good, a good project uh, and it's my job to give the scores. So. Let's not keep discussing about uh, one point more, one point less, it's totally, we know that the points are not the mathematical, you know, uh, expression, so maybe always we, one more, one less, let's try to, my opinion is that in this course, uh, if you have a project that is well done and it's running, 
you already know it. If it's running, if it's complete, when you submit it, you already, you, are, you, you, you developed it, you tested it, you know how good the project is. So you already have, uh, know the score, okay? So normally, I see that people submit something that when they know it's good, when they know it's ready, and they get good scores in most of the cases. The, say, bad scores normally are for people that are, um, they submit something that is incomplete because they, they couldn't finish it in time, and so they're submitting something incomplete, and of course, the, the, the scores are going to drop. Uh, people who don't know their project, they are failed. Okay? Not, there's no notion of, I know it more or less 50%. No, if you, you are not familiar with the project, you are failed because it's not your work, okay? So on that, uh, we will be, say, very clear. Okay? Any other questions? Yep. <laughs> no, uh, the, oh, so, um, the functionality is required, of course, the usability also, so making something um, in a sensible way, but we are not checking the design, the colors, the, the aesthetics of the website. Uh, so usually my suggestion is try to use one framework like Bootstrap or something other that you like and stick to it just to the the default functionality. Somebody gets stripped and, uh, and they try to do some extra graphics, but uh, uh, always ask yourself uh, if you are going to use a website like that or if a friend is going to use a website like that. Basically, of finding where, okay, this, you have a look at the, at the past exams. Okay, we are not specifying create a page with a button in this position. We are talking about high level functionality. So you are free to design it, uh, the pages and also the navigation, the routes, as you wish. Okay. It, you're really free. Also, database, it's all yours. Okay. Make some design choices that are simple and clear enough. Okay. Also, for the interface point of view. Uh, we, are, you are, we are not required to do a responsive website, so it should run normally on a browser desktop. Don't bother with the resizing and, the, and responsiveness or mobile interfaces. We are, you are not required to handle cases in which the user is messing with the, with the URL. So, of course, if you change the URL, uh, then the navigation, the, the route will change, and maybe you don't have the state. No, we are not going to, to check that. We are going to test the application only by navigating through the internal links. Okay, so, we, of course, it's an exam. It's not the, the real life, so we have to simplify it in some way, not to cover all the corner cases. Okay, so if you have any, any other questions, uh, we have the Telegram group, so you can feel free to ask. And, uh, and, but, but read first one, uh, one example of the course where you see the type of project and the type of instruction that we have at the end. Okay, so let's cut the recording.